Steve Rhodes as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You can get Steve's newsletter for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, when you get Steve's newsletter, folks, you are going to get a huge amount of information because, of course, he has many things out there between the TD count, his oscillator on change line, uh, just a great amount of information that um, bottom line that you can take advantage of. And when I say take advantage of, well, you actually can take advantage of because you can go out there and get it for 29 days. And, you know, if, if it doesn't work for you, you don't have to pay for it. You know, bottom line, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So check it out. Steve Rhodes, how you doing, man? Hanging in there. Yeah, yeah. Such, such, Jesus. I mean, excuse me, but it's like, man, weird. You know what I mean? Just No, totally. And look, Tom, yeah. uh, you know, each of us here um, owe you a debt of gratitude. Yeah, uh, you know, with with uh, had you not met David, as you talked about 23 years ago, um, he would not have been such a key part of our life. So, right. You know, very grateful. And so um, fast. Have had, I can't even oh. believe it. You know, when I heard the ad before I was coming on, I says, hold it. It's more than that, because I remember I remember it, folks, by the office we were in. And I've been yeah. out of that office that long. That's yeah, that's how I remember it. So. Yeah, great guy. And and now, and you know, you've created this um, amazing family with inside the TFNN community. So I think there's a lot of family members kind of pissed off um, knowing that he took himself to the hospital. Yeah, that's and, and right. We, yeah. And we're finding out, folks, this is what's going on. See, his family is spread across the country. Well, he, unfortunately, his mother and father has died. His brother and sisters have died. He only has nieces. Right. And they're spread out there in Atlanta and Chicago. And you know, uh, uh, I'm trying to find out the hospital. Attack, I, I think I know the hospital. We have one hospital around here that it's, I mean, it's disgusting. I mean, they've had problems forever. And, you know, anyway, yeah. so. Yeah, well, you know, I think his brother passed away from a heart attack, if I'm not mistaken. He did. He did. Yeah. Because so, I was talking you know, to the brother's daughter. That's why I was talking to her, right. Okay, perfect. Right. So now you've got this guy, you got David, going to the hospital. Right. Hey, it's in my family. My brother, you know, a few years old or what have you, you know, passed away from it. I, I, it's unthinkable. Yeah. That, that it's, un, it's just, uh, right. unless there's something that we don't know, you know, it, it certainly is unthinkable. So, yeah, it was great. Uh, thanks for replaying that. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, I... I it was. I thought it was great hearing his voice. I mean, that's totally. you know. I mean, there's no doubt. Do you know what I mean? It's like, and, and then yeah. it was great that Steve from Austin called, man. Yeah, <laughs> because if you know Dave, folks, I mean, you know, Dave is Dave, man, and that was right, right up his alley. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So awesome. you know, I, I consider him to be the gold standard yeah. uh, for his uh, teachings. I think that his teachings for many of us will just simply uh, live forever, and that's a beautiful thing. And so you know, again, Tom, uh, you know, so grateful that uh, you took the actions that you did and he became a part of this uh, this family, uh, this Hotel California, and yeah. we're gonna miss him dearly. Miss we him all dearly. will, there's no doubt. Yeah. No yeah. Doubt. So I thought I'd maybe just go ahead and stick with gold here. Okay. Uh, since yep. we're talking about a gold standard of an individual. And uh, uh, folks, this, this chart here is taking a look at gold priced in dollars, which is on the left-hand side, euros next to it, then yen, and uh, gold priced in pounds. And those folks that have uh, seen me talk about these charts here, where I took a look at different instruments priced in different currencies, real rallies are where the price is moving up in all major currencies. And what I found, Tom, in going back and taking a look at uh, gold is that when it tops out, it will typically top out in all major currencies at or very near the exact same time. The purple line that is on these charts here, they represent the month that gold made its high in U.S. dollars. So if that's true, in that gold will form a high at the same time, well, we can see based upon how gold is traded in euros and yen and pounds, which have taken out those time periods, gold in terms of U.S. dollars has not made a major top. And we're likely to head to new higher highs out there. Oh, I don't see likely. I believe that we will. If you take a look at gold priced in yen and pounds, they've already made new all-time highs this month. Yes. And, and euros just missed it by, you know, just by a smidgen out there. 
The gold contract happens to be, at least it was when I put this together maybe about an hour ago, it was trading above its February 2nd swing point, and it was doing it with volume. And that sets up a potential A to B equals CD to the upside out here. Now, I say potential simply because gold is trading into a, a swing point from uh, from March uh, uh, March that, that began March 7th through March 11th. And if we switch over here, so I've done, Thomas, I'm going from the gold contract just to maybe make it easier for the audience. Nearly everybody has got access to the GLD. Yes. Not everybody has. Yeah, the, no, that's uh, a great way of doing it, Steve. Right. So just to, just to, so we can see what's going on in gold. And now here's the GLD. So everybody can do this. In the case of the GLD on the left hand side, we've got the daily time frame. We can see that it took out its swing point at 181.73. The bottom line shows the 7.9 million shares was a swing point volume. You take a look at how we took that out it was with massive volume and this gives us an a to b equal cd to the upside with a one-to-one -one price projection of 199 but tom as you've taught us uh gold is not likely to do just a one-to-one -one. it'll expand itself and plus the retracement here was only 43 percent and the move along the c to d line it's on the left hand side all of this is on the strong side suggesting to move up beyond 199 207 be the one to 1.272 when I take this to the weekly time frame, um, here's where we can see that we're running into some issues. The swing point that it's trading into has got big volume, 135 million shares out there. Right. So, you know, so so that's the issue that we're going to be dealing with. And we could see some uh, choppy trading. On the monthly chart, everything looks great. It's above uh, the top of its uh, profile, which is resistance, folks. And so suggests that it really wants to move higher. So, again, to summarize this chart, 199.35 is the one-to-one -one confirmed A to B equal CD to the upside on the daily time frame and so i'm suggesting because we're moving into this volume period just for folks to fasten their seat belts out there and so but even on a weekly basis we also have that the cool thing here is we've got a confirmed a to b equal cd upside on the weekly basis as well so I just think we've got some some issues, some volume issues uh, to deal with. I don't see any real topping signals other than, and so in honor of, of certainly David and Bud Rolfs uh, is the reason that I put this chart up here. Nice. And here are Bud's horizontal trading ranges or primary trading range boundary lines. I've got both uh, daily, which are in blue, and the green ones are the weekly time periods out here. So there's resistance. This is for the GLD now at 186.18, 188.64, and 199.35. If I take a look at the, if I step out instead of looking at a weekly chart, this was a weekly chart, Tom. Here's a daily time frame, and it just have just the daily horizontal trading ranges. Turns out that at 186.18, which is the next horizontal trading range, ties into this 186th level where we should run into some resistance. So I want folks to watch 186.18. If we get above that, that should help us to, again, get off to that 199 level. So, you know, in summary, uh, all these other things, all this stuff doesn't matter. Um, you know, we are going to miss our good friend, David White. Yeah, and um, thank you so much, Steve, for all your work uh, and then putting that together because there's no doubt, folks, what happens inside the gold market uh, it's always very tough, and it's not going to be easy, even though the, the, the crisis is out there. And our man Dave, our man Dave is sitting right up here with us, babes. Right here. He is. He there is. we go. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, Steve. Have a safe one. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. You're coming right back.